Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world and Scavenge is ahead of us. That is the name of the game today and what we're going to do is let a little time go by because it's uh, listed as a nighttime mission at the moment and we want to do this rich site against Pandorans this time in the daytime. I think that would be to our benefit. I also think I want to wait in addition for the timeline to go by at least I want to wait five hours because I'm thinking of taking a technician, a mutoid technician, but a technician nonetheless, and I would like to get a scorcher back in the mix for this particular mission. So that's what we're going to do. I don't think there's really anything else. Uh, manufacturing why I put a scorcher there. I put a rattlesnake up there. I don't know if I'll wait all, all the 10 hours for that second one, uh, but I did readjust that just to get a couple of those built right off the bat. All right, and other than that, let's just let some time go by, and, and the experiments continue. So we've gotten up to this mission also, and that is with one ship, one one more ship to go. So our follow-up mission, once we do this scavenge, will we will be ready for it. We shall be ready. Now let's go find out. we got three hours to go for the Scorcher, and we're going to hold off on this mission just a little bit longer so we can do a scavenge and make sure all our materials are in good shape. That's just the order I've decided I'm going to do it in. And now both will more than likely be able to be done as daytime missions, unless this is a default nighttime mission. I can't remember. Some of these set missions have specific day or night situations uh, applied to them. So let's get back over to where we were. Oh, we got this mission. Oh, so we're just, we're basically lined up for missions. Uh, so much, there, there's my refresher course to see where everybody's at. Let's do this mission first and get it done. Nice daytime extreme against the Pandorans in a corrupted area. Let's get down there. And the team, I kind of looked ahead of time that I'm thinking I'm going to take out is uh, Sectoid, I'd bring you, but you're level one, and I need I think I need quick aim from any sniper that I bring. And what I've defaulted to in my mind anyway is uh, heavies, because two out of the three heavies have uh, the, the, the shoulder-mounted laser, so that's basically as good as a sniper, to be honest. And Servando, you're the lone pure sniper that we're taking. I do have one for speed, Hermann Heisenberg von Herza. And, you know, Gary the Dollar Snail, because, you know, I'm just, I just am in love with my spider drones. And this is the way we're going to do it. Means I have to pick one more individual to go out. Did I get all my heavies? Yeah, you, Takeda, you're one of them. Aramex, you're another one. And I need, I actually have room for one more soldier to be able to take out. And the question is, who shall it be? Eeny, meeny, and my, well, you know what? Since I feel like the team is good enough as it is, let's try leveling up our newest mutoid. And he, he, he's still a sniper. He just may not be able to, you know, do the quick game yet. But that's the reason we're going to try to get him leveled up. Uh, Mark the Hat Shiffer's already maxed out. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Let's get in here, and uh, you know what I'm going to do? Anybody, since this is not Terror from the Void, I don't have to worry about side effects. Anybody who has, even though we're going to get more corruption uh, after this mission, I've got plenty of delirium, so our mutagens up here. So we're going to go and heal the folks that are going out first. And the mutoids, I don't have to have to heal the benefit of having them along. And that wasn't much to be spent. And when we go out of here and come back, we will see that everybody, just as a double check, yes, everybody we decided to clear is okay. So we will not have any effects, at least right away, to our will usage. That's the main reason I wanted to do this. Unlike terror from the void the other season we're doing the mod i gotta keep thinking this in my head the the stamina level does not offset the corruption that works against us so that that's just something we have to be aware of so let's take a look at how we're outfitted make sure there's nothing else we can add you can't really carry much more you got decent weapon if we get a chance to shoot it and to be quite honest i think you as a heavy need a little more 
carrying capacity and health boost never hurt there either. And that's the other thing we got to be aware of is I'm not going to load any more on you just because this is a scavenge mission. We need room to, to pick stuff up. So I think I'm, it's fair for us to keep it like this. In fact, this gives us four shots. So yeah, I will carry some backup ammo. Gary the Dollar Snail, I do want you along. You're only going to have three shots in the crossbow. And your job is going to be shooting out spider drones as quickly as you can. So that eventually will give you room to pick stuff up if we need you to do that. Uh, right off the bat, however, we are going to pick up speed. Hermann Heisenberg von Herza. I do like the idea and I wish I knew... Is it worthwhile dropping that thing and holding on to the grenade? Will that, what, what will help us more? You never truly know for sure. And this is only a single use weapon. And yeah, we're going like this. I'll hopefully be able to shoot a couple grenades and make room really fast. Uh, mark the hat, you're sticking around. Uh, the sectoid, there's nothing else to spend on you. However, uh, we will be lightening your load here. You can hopefully be someone who can help us pick stuff up. Atelio, you're the one. And there is the extra turret that I was hoping for. No vehicles on this one, by the way, that I need you to help repair. So we're, we're lightening your load. I think what we'll do is we'll keep that because as we start putting out turrets, you'll be able to carry the ammo. In fact, with that in mind, we'll do this. You, Takeda, we won't, I'll tell you what, probably don't need backup grenades, and I'm only going to give you a one refill on rockets. You're our shredder on this one. Uh, Strategos, I can't remember, did we take, yeah, we're not taking you out, and we're just going with the last two. Servando, Espectro de la Mar. Don't need backup there, don't need backup there, you're going out like this. And finally, Papillon. No backup ammo on the grenades. Grenades are just what we got and we're set to go. Let's get down there and see what we can recover on this one and hopefully make this the last scavenge we have to worry about. Okay, so we see a Mist Sentinel and we see an Arthron of some kind. Not really close, does have a grenade launcher and a weapon and Midland health. Uh, the, on, the only bad bit of armor is on the carapace, so not bad. He's, he's actually got unarmored arms and a torso. Well, that's harder to hit. The carapace is the big part, uh, but not, 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 not too much armor all around. So he's got some weak spots, that's for sure. He's also potentially close enough to, to launch something at us. The uh, mist shooter is right there. And let's get a sense of uh, how big this map is and where the stuff is. We got two crates pretty close by. We got another crate pretty far over. Overall, 17 resource packs. Is there anything down here? No. So right now we've got uh, one, two, and a three. And what do we have over in this building? You've got to be kidding me. Is there only three? 17 is... Oh, there's another one hiding. I was going to say 17, but still, that's not very many sites to have to get to. One, two. I'm checking one more time because, you know, Zigzag has a man <laughs> habit of missing. I'm only seeing four so far. Wow. Now that's, that's interesting. I think we can make it to four sites and uh, that's uh, a heck of a lot of stuff within four sites so exit zones are here and there so after picking this up that seems to be the closest place to exit from so the question will be what are we be what will we be dealing with today and can we get a line on this thing somehow no because we got this big trash pile blocking the view and we, we may have a little corner edge of a shot here with a quick aim. And we may just try that with you, Servando. Just for starters. 
And the other thing, well, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to step somebody out there right off the bat. I think what we'll do is uh, I'm going to take a peek. I was born you know how I'm going to take a peek. You know how I love to take my peeks, and it's uh, this way. So we're going to have uh, one set of eyes going out this way. And we're seeing more. Oh boy, we're seeing more. Now this guy, what kind is he shooting at us? Poison worms, okay? And holy smokes, both of our misty sentinels are right next to each other. And a shield bearer. We're going to go ahead and uh, do another pair of eyes. Well, actually, no, because I made the mistake. And I've done this before. I, I usually put the reload right there so we can get two bursts on the first turn. That is not going to be the case here. Switch. But it'll be the case next time because I'm going to rectify that right now. Shame on Commander. He should know better. He's done this enough times. Let's see. Maybe just because we have two Mist Sentinels together here, we start wearing them down so we can get enough shots at them. Who has the rockets? I think it's you, you Takeda. So uh, we're launching off with you, Boom Blast, to get this party started. And I think we're going to do... I just don't want a lot of mists, is all I can say. And, and, and the problem is, what, what are you not able to launch over? Well, that tree is awkwardly placed. So our launcher is not going to be able to... Because of that tree, what a pain of a tree. So I'm almost feeling like maybe uh, I can't pick up multiples anywhere. So I'm committed. I'm committed here. So maybe I should just hit the tree and knock it out so that the next grenade and then a follow-up rocket uh, can work for us. Is that a plan? Because I, I really don't see anything else that would be in the way of our shot. Is somebody standing? Oh, I bet you these folks are standing in front of you. That might be hindering us just a little bit. Atilio, come on over here. You can throw a turret. We're going to have you throw a turret. I'm thinking uh, right about here. There's so many pieces of junk on the battlefield, it's going to be hard to know for sure. But we're going to toss the first one right here. And we'll hold off on the second one. And guess what? Our first, uh, we could remote control. So we'll have remote control to help us out once we do this. Now, Aramex, you may be another one. So maybe what we do is we just jump you here to take a peek on this side like I wanted to do with our spider drones. And then you'll at least have your laser mounted or shoulder mounted laser. <laughs> you know, you heard me start to say <laughs> laser mounted shoulder. <laughs> I might have to take care of this guy first though with that special weapon. Uh, the other thing is, let's wait till after we get our kabooms from you, Takeda, and see if having people out of the way, oh, that vastly improves our ability to potentially hit. Of course, we still might hit that tree, but I'm going to try cutting down on the mist here because this guy's hit points I don't think are significant, and maybe that destiny will be enough. Okay, that's nice. It's going to make it easier. And let's just double check this guy's hit points 200. It's going to be pretty close with the destiny. Pretty dang close. All right, we're, we're getting into the neighborhood of one more single shot. Let's get it's close. Doggone, it's close. So maybe I, I do go ahead and spend the rocket over here just to ensure that a single shot on each of these gets rid of the nasty, nasty mist. Yeah, 
Yeah, single shots on both, and the mist is uh, history. So what we're going to do is let's check out your destiny out. right here. And it does not quite take him out. Now, claw versus grenade. What is the best thing to try and focus on? Spitterhead. We'll just go the body. We got rid of the grenade. We do have to worry about his claw. And he's highly mobile. But if we can get any kind of incidental damage on him, he's also gone. So, we have some incidental damage folks out there. What we'll start with is our turret with remote control. I made sure to leave you here with enough points to remote control the turret. And let's see who the turret can help us with. I think... Okay, so I can't see that one guy over there. So we're, we're just going to take care of this. Yes, I know. Overkill. But I, I want to leave. Now, I think our sniper can I'm help us out here. Here. That's where you have a shot. Let's hope it's a good enough shot. I'm on the move. Tango spotted. And the Myrmidon. Okay, the Myrmidon. We can deal with that. Here I am. Let's do this. Oh, baby. There's a chance we can miss. But you didn't. Good job. I shouldn't be such a negative Nelly. <laughs> but I choose to believe that I'm more of a realist. Now... Come on. I could double dash you, but then we got to worry about these guys. The Myrmidon is a regular, which is okay. This guy's got 16 movement. The other option we have is another laser shoulder mount if we can't get anyone else in the proper position. But I'm going to try first to get folks in a proper position. Now, Sectoid, you don't have quick aim. And I don't know that we're really going to have a way to get you positioned for a shot unless I just do something like this and get you ready. It gets you potentially in range of a Myrmidon. Uh-oh. What are we seeing now? Hopefully nothing new. Ah, this guy way in the distance. But he's, like I said, he's way in the distance. Let's bring you here. Closer than we want to have a mutoid to the front line. But I was hoping we could get lucky with this. <laughs> there we go. Good kill. Good job on a tough shot. Taken down. Now the enemies are more at a distance. And we have the luxury with you, Papillon to uh, bring you out here. I don't feel I need the boom blast. We'll just put you right here. And I'm thinking the one that has the biggest range potentially that we have to worry about is the Myrmidon and that just might be who we decide to laser on this one. Check this out. Except uh, there's something called a rock. That seems to be a challenge on this one. Now the Brute Champion, we can wear him down. In fact, we can take out his his claw. I want to kind of see if we can hit him on his arm and take the claw that way so he's still bleeding. I guess we'll just go straight on in. All right, so we still have to worry about these folks here. And you notice I'm kind of ignoring the cartons here just because I know we can run back to get them and then exit. So I'm trying to lower the enemy count for starters and see if that helps us out 
moving forward. Now I can also uh, dash over here to some cover to maybe finish off yet another Pandoran. I also have a grenade I can shoot. Let's dash you off. I was thinking I was going to dash you off this way. But there's too much crap in the way. I think there's a little less. In fact, we're the only ones really in the way if we run this way. We got to keep going. How much further can you make it? Yeah, so we are not going to see there. We're, we're, we're going to try for the little extra nudge off in the distance to see if we can take out another Pandora and wreak havoc on their will. I don't think a, a grenade can be launched that far. Not quite. And a single grenade on a Myrmidon is no guarantee. Let's see if this will be enough of a guarantee here. And it is. Good job. Now let's see how they attack us. Oh no. He's a bomber. Got a lot of shots being able to go out against it though. All lined up. The good news is they had to run before they really saw us and got alerted. So we didn't have to worry about that immediate attack. And I got spider drones over here. If they would only have just bunched up a little bit more. And that building is good interference. Oh, so what that does, it allows me to really focus on this guy over here. And see if we have a chance to take out his uh, boom power. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's get rid of our spider drones first. We could probably get multiple damage by coming over here. I do see a little bit of a glow on this guy. No, it's return fire. I could have sworn I saw a little glow coming off the guy. Maybe he has viral weapons of some kind. Organic? Organic. Oh, well. You know, doesn't that look like a glow? I guess I can't zoom in much more. So we're going we're gonna to try exploding over here. We may very well... The turret would take return fire if we tried shooting on this guy. Unless we just took that out. Well, look, if we just shoot right there, he dies. Potentially. Okay. The turret was true, and that guy fell. Now we have two options. Kind of placing it here against this guy, who has 340 armor. Or placing it in between these two who also has 340 armor, shield bearer versus a shield bearer. Now, the good thing about shield bearers in the base game is we really only have to take care of the claw to take him out. Ready. And you, Servando, may have the ability to work on the claw. So let's, let's try the quick game and see. Targeting. If you can do just that for us. All right, this claw is gone. Now that kind of makes me feel like uh, best use, maybe two, uh, what, this is what we'll do. We'll go two out of three of the spider drones there, and I will do another spider drone here, although his hit points are only 160. Servando. Yeah, we got your second quick aim right there. Okay, and oh baby. We're probably, that's the grenade launcher. We, we, we would love to hit him more in the body. Well, that hurts him. And let's just hope maybe we can hurt him and then he'll be bleeding enough. We don't have to deal with him. Yeah, that, that looks like he's going to bleed out. How about that? We are effectively lowering their numbers on this side. And then coming up, we will work on the big boomer. Okay. Spider drones. Now, all three of you can come over here. The only problem is we don't have good access the way it's protected back there to that guy's claw. But we'll try. We'll do another one in between, and, and if we can damage the Myrmidon enough, the last one will go right next to the Arthron. 
doesn't look like we damaged this thing quite enough. So we're going in between. And you'll notice, look at that. We took away his claw and his shield. So he is also one neutered Arthron. So let's just uh, explode for the Myrmidon. And other than the Worm Shooter, which I'm sure will be very aware of us this upcoming turn, now our big danger is right there. And then it's time to get a motor in as fast as we can motor to try and uh, clear this map. That's, that's the way I'm seeing it. Sectoid. going to give us our first shot right there. What we do want to do is take away his ability on his abdomen. Let's wait for him to fluff up. I think that gives us a better target. Very good. Okay, I think I will choose on this particular one to boom blast. And do some shredding for some of our other shots. Ooh, he's 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 pushing it. Now what what might be in my way now? I don't know. I hope we don't hit something that I'm not aware of. Okay. It it worked. Uh, that worked, and now we'll see if your rocket can work. And for some reason, the range of the blast didn't seem to do anything. It was a little off target. Not a bad start. Now, Aramex. Maybe what we try first, let's see the malfunction. Oh my goodness, we've got a 0% malfunction weapon there. And we have the ability to dash up close to use it. Or relatively close for the size of the enemy. Never give up. <laughs> Never give up. Let's go see what this looks like. Look at that. Okay, he's very well handled. We're looking at acid and bleed. The acid will not more than likely affect him right away. Let's see how much armor where the acid is. Yeah, that acid will not help us right away. So we just need one more little tip, one more little push uh, to take him out. Maybe a pistol can do it. I don't know, but you're hitting with that pistol, Sectoid, and bleeding, he will bleed out. <laughs> we did the job, and what that allows us to do now, in case you didn't realize, is <laughs> move to the side a step and then jump to one of our targets. Here comes the Phoenix. Okay, we won't be able to pick it up this turn, but there we go. We at least know what we're dealing with. We also have to get over to this one, and now is probably the as good a time as any to angle off in this direction. Uh, we'll angle off in this direction so at least you have, well, unless something, a sniper's down here, you'll have cover. <laughs> Executing. We also have the ability to move if we see something, and we do not. So we'll just, since we don't see anything to worry about, dead, dead. So basically the map, other than this uh, Chiron over here, is handled. So run towards your target. So as soon as possible, we can dash on out of here. Now, okay, you've already shot. 
what we could do is maybe, well, I'll tell you what, uh, what we could do is probably send you down. What are you, what have you got on your person? Yeah, you're, you're going to be able to carry a lot of stuff. So let's just run you down here and get ready to do this pickup. Oh, not enough actions to do it this turn. But you'll have room for the four crates plus that weapon. And that's not bad. And do we have anybody else left? Uh, Gary the Dollar Snail. You know what we're going to do with you is uh, we're going to shoot out one more round of spider drones. And then head over to our crate. And you'll be able to handle those pickups plus something else. And actually, let's do the free reload. That'll free up a space for when you're able to pick up next turn. There we go. And I think that is our turn. <laughs> Acid Myrmidon has entered the field. And he does. He is aware of us now. Or he's aware of our turret. Because <laughs> that's where the... <laughs> and thank you for getting in range of the turret. Okay. Now it's time. So I think it's time to withdraw you, Hermann. Oh, wait. Look at that. There is another crate that I missed. One, two, three. Now look at how, how... I must have been looking from this point of view, and I never came down all the way to this corner. How about that? Uh, what we'll do with you, Hermann, is you have no will. You'll get some by coming to this crate, though. Now it makes sense. We have enough crates that make sense. Targeting. Let's let him puff up. I don't know if I really have any other worms. Is that worm going to be too close to us? I guess what we'll do is uh, back you off just and let's just make sure this worm is not going to get too close to us. And as far as spider drones, let's send them out towards this guy and there we go now Servan though I'm not sure how I want to use you we will shoot this right here It is bleeding. And uh, let's pick up stuff with you. Just like this works for me. I don't think I'm going to need to put down another turret. So since we're in the exchange mode, let's do it like this. And then let's remote control our turret. Now we're kind of in the neighborhood of that acid myrmidon, but we're going to take a uh, little bit of a chance there. <clears throat> and he's bleeding a little more. Now Servan, though. Maybe uh, I do back you off a little bit and just do a little overwatch. Yeah, I don't even know if the myrmidon will see it. I'll tell you what, the one he could see could be over here in Attilio. So let's just back you off for an overwatch. And let's do an overwatch over in this direction to try and protect our friend from a potential Myrmidon. And you also can potentially do the same. 
All right, Papillon. Nice pickup. Get ready to jump next turn. And uh, Gary the Dollar, let's get your stuff picked up. And while we're at it, then we can shoot something if we're lucky over here that might also distract a Myrmidon from going directly against us. All right. Sectoid, there's nothing left really over here for you. So we do have another crate back here. Let's run that way. And we got uh, Utakeda. What we can do is... Well, we can just... Eh, we're not really going to hit these. These guys are protected pretty well by the building. So let's, let's hang on to our stuff or reload where we can. No, 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 no. So our rockets are fully reloaded. And we'll try to set an insurance worm over in this direction also. Now, Ramex, you get to do your pickup. And that looks like it has high value. And, uh, you know, a med kit always, always has pretty good value. All right. So we're going to jump you back towards the team. Maybe we'll, well, I don't want to get too close to that worm. Although the worms really don't hurt a heavy on those, ex on the explosions here. So, yeah, it's not really a good angle here. So we'll, we'll keep kind of working towards protecting our exit is where we'll send you now. Oh, yeah. And he does not apparently see us. He did not fly anywhere towards us. And we did not get a laser. I wonder if we have much of a shot from you. Well, it says we do. So it looks like uh, we need to uh, do another remote control. And we're going to come close to taking it out. There we go. Very, very good. Uh, sectoid, let's pick up the last crate. This should be the last one. No, 15 out of 17. Oh, we didn't. One more step and we will have them all. And there we go. We're ready to get moving towards the exit zones at this point. Uh, Servando. I think if we move you forward, that gives you an angle with moving your pistol. Down. Should be close enough. Let's find out. And if it's not... One but it is. I was going to say we'll run you a little closer. Now, we have a weird worm over here. Uh, seems a waste of a spider drone, but what the hey. And then uh, we got spider drones here. This will not be a waste. We'll just make sure this guy doesn't see us and fly towards us. And one final. That worm is not close enough to matter. And that thing exploded in grand fashion. All right. Uh, we do have the ability. Let's see if the turret sees one of the worms. No. So we will not remote control. 
what we will do is we'll bring you here. Are you telling me you can't see that worm? Are you telling me? Well, Oh, that's our own worm. <laughs> Thank you for being smarter than Commander there. <laughs> Thank you, Atilio, for having more sense than Commander. Okay, let's just send our spider drones out. It looks like we're going to be able to really focus on getting out of here now. The reinforcements could just not keep pace with our pace of taking out the Pandorans on this one, and that, that is a nice way to have it. Okay. Who's left? You. We need to jump you. You're probably the farthest one back, but you'll catch up quick enough this way. And uh, we'll just Already there. sidestep you there. Uh, we will reload. And what that'll do is allow us to pick something else up. Of course, none of these uh, bits of ammo have all that much value, but we'll still pick it up. And yeah, you, you, you'll be able to get out one way or another with full movement. So we'll just keep you there. Sectoid, we'll move you towards exit. You, Takeda, there's nothing really much. Well, might as well just run you over here and pick up what you can. Everything has value, I guess you could say. And Aramex. Where else do we have stuff that's uh, left behind? Potentially right here. So... Oh, you, you're probably full, though. Yeah, you're full. So we can't use you to help pick up. Let's just get you towards an exit zone. Right there. Sounds like a siren has just entered the field. And a minefragger. This is a good time for us to be getting the hay out of here. And we do have the ability with you, Hermon, to dash. Let's use that. Pushing on. I can do it. You can do it, but you can't quite get out. <laughs> so we'll can bring you right here and make sure you can get out next time. Servando, yeah, we, we, we've all got the ability to do it, but not quite get out. So let's set ourselves up for the grand exit to come. Let's do this. Uh, about the only thing you can see is the worm, so shoot it. Atilio. <laughs> it says you can see that far. That's crazy. There's no way you're going to hit the thing. Uh, we'll just keep you here. And we'll send out a freebie little worm off in its direction to see about delaying. Okay. In fact, you don't even have to move. Let's send a couple worms off in this direction as a delaying tactic. Now, I don't think a minefragger will be delayed by a worm, but, you know, we're more hopeful that the siren can be delayed. Now, you better have some will left, and you do, so let's jump you, Pepion, and get you moving. So we can try getting you the hay out of here, too. Uh, Gary the dollar, just in case. We're going to send some more Spideys over here. And just in case, we've picked everything else up. So uh, we're going to move you towards an exit zone. Sectoid. 
you know, we're going to move you here. Well, sectoid, we're going to move you here just in case you have a shot. Um, how about we use a different weapon? And we're trying to slow her down now, aren't we? We're trying. Uh, I don't think long enough range for you, you Takeda. So uh, we'll just end your. We'll just end your turn, so you can, and everybody else can, get out of here soon. I guess what we could also do, since Sectoid had a line of sight over here, I imagine you would too, Ramex. Running. Uh, I, w I would like to hit the leg, or excuse me, the tail. There we go. And she's slowed down, so she cannot get close enough to us now. Uh, as far as spider drones that are out there, well, there's nothing else for us to move towards. In fact, everybody else has moved as far back, really, as we can get. So let's just end it. And she mind-controlled one of our worms. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> All right, now is the time. And let's make sure. Now is the time. I think everybody is close enough that we can get out. So let's just make it happen. Oh, you know what? We just need to explode these guys so we can end it. And I just realized what that action meant is if I don't do this, we won't be done. So we got a promotion for Sectoid the Toyd Mutoid, just what I was hoping would happen. And Gary the Dollar Snail, congratulations to you on getting to level six as an infiltrator. All right, guys, we did it. Got nice pickup. Uh, numbers are looking really, really nice up here now. And we, we got a good loot haul on top of that. All right. So what I'm going to do here is we're just going to pause, I think, the, the game here because I'm going to have a choice next time. We have an ancient site lined up and we have probably the one we're going to do is experiments continue and try to end the, the corruption mechanic that, you know, we have enough mutagens. It's not really an issue. We can heal it. So let's just see if we can't do this issue or this mission to, to finalize and end the corruption issue so we don't have to waste time healing ourselves of the corruption. That's the plan. So I hope you enjoyed today's mission. Nice to have a nice smooth scavenge because we've had our share of unnice and unsmooth scavenges here. But this one went very, very well. Hope you enjoyed it too. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching and click on the link to the next episode if you're feeling like a little bit more. It'll be there once it's recorded and released. Hope to see you next time.